Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. Last time we left off, we had made it almost all the way through Waterfall, and we've met up with Napstabluk. Well, at least I think we've almost made it all the way through Waterfall. We're at a calming area now. So, let us continue onward. North, Bluke Acres. East, Hotland. Question mark, Temi Village. Temi Village. <laughs> You'll see when we get there. Oh hey, a box! Perfect! Use the box? Yes, we can put those uh, belly shoes in here. Hmm. I might do a little something for some grinding a little later. You'll see what I mean. Anyways, what's up here? Well there! I've got some neat junk for sale. Well, let's talk to him first. Anything you want to know? I've been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. <laughs> hmm. What about the emblem on the wall there? Eh? You don't know about this? What this is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? <laughs> That's the Delta Rune. The emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom. Of monsters. <laughs> Great name, huh? It's as I always say. Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans! <laughs> Fluffy Buns? <laughs> that emblem actually pre uh, predates written history. The original meaning has been lost in ta to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolizes monsters below, and the wing circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. The prophecy? Oh yeah, the prophecy. Hey, Sky! <laughs> of course you'd be playing Final Fantasy around this time. Legend has it, an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook. Calling it... Calling that winged circle... The Angel of Death. Heartbringer of destruction, waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> wow, you're pretty much full of history here. So, an angel that will descend from above and bring the monsters their freedom. Of course, it also has a reverse, being an angel of death that will t free everybody from their suffering. <sighs> Many meanings, huh? The king? King Fluffy Buns? He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep t walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story! I don't remember it. <laughs> but if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered by then. Well, I'll give him a chance to remember. He is a turtle uh, monster, after all. How about telling us a little bit about Undyne? Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. Uh, really? <laughs> I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It might just save your hide. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna buy some items from you, mister. I think we learn his name a little later, too. I can't remember his name right now. So, we can get crab apples. Sea salt. Speed up in battle. Would that really help? We don't really use speed. Cloudy glasses. Those are armor? Temporary invulnerability longer, huh? And a torn notebook. You know what? Just for the sake of it, I'm gonna buy these, because they might come in handy. Anyways, let's see. I have a little bit for a crab apple. Oh, apparently I've maxed out my items. That's a first. I will. I'll be back for a crab apple. Let's drop the stuff off, shall we? I don't know what it is, I just feel I need to collect all the equipable stuff, even though the glasses are weaker defense for us. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hmm. 
You know, I think I'm pretty much good on health items. I'll come back for that crab apple later. Odd. Nobody's here. Hmm. Well, continuing onward we will. More of this wonderful music. And more history. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrender to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. Oh my god. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power, equivalent to the seven human souls, attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Wow. Nothing there. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Really? I'm just curious to see if maybe there's any entrances into this waterfall. Okay. Oh god. I didn't expect to run into her here. Special enemy Temi appears here to defeat you. Temi attacks 7, defense tw negative 20. Loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic! Hoi, I'm Temi! No, Temi. Bad Temi. Temi. No. No. <laughs> Temi vibrates intensely. Feed Temi Flakes. Temi only wants the Temi Flakes. No! So hunger! Ah! No. Bad Temi. 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 No. No. <laughs> I love how I'm talking to Temi like she's a cat. And we'll talk to Temi. You say hello to Temi. Hi, I'm Temi! <laughs> Temi? Bad? No. Uh-uh. No. No! Ow! Temi! Temi vibrates intensely. And now we can spare Temi! You want to spare Temi! I did not expect to run into Temi here at all! <laughs> I usually run into Temi a little later. Oh, that voice is going to be interesting. Anyways. Maze like puzzle. <laughs> hmm? Oh, we've got a mold small, but that other one doesn't look like it's moving. Hmm? Mold small is very normal. Um, I'm gonna check. Hmm. Uh... Flirt? You wiggle your hips. Suddenly. Ah! Ah! What in the world? It smells like a bait shop! What is a mold bug? Mold bug? Well, for once... I'm gonna um, unhug it. You don't hug Mold Moldy uh Moldy. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Uh that was a poorly located area to be in. Phew. Comfortable with your presence. You can spare him now, but I'm gonna quickly check him. A mold beak. Six attack, defense is zero. One over one size greater than mold average. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, that was poor. Can we timed? I'm sparing it now. <laughs> Those things can be mean. And I'm healing. Uh, let's use the ice cream. An illustration of a hug. Aw. Oh, I need to light that one up. Man, I'm running into things differently than I usually do. Okay, let's see here. Let's go light this one up. I can go that way, but I want to go this way first. This song, I love it so much! Cause there should be a pathway down now. Hmm? Oh no, a washwa and an Aeron. Let's start with Washua first. Oh, fuck. Did 
Did I swear? Great, I'm gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> okay, we can spare Washua now. Let's get rid of Washua. <laughs> He gets faster annoys me. <laughs> Anyways, we're flexing. All right. Whew. Concentrating for once. Whoa, that was close. One more time, and he should leave. Whew. Well, at least I'm getting a lot of gold now. But this is where we're going. Welcome to Temi Village. Okay, first time I heard this song, my mind went instantly to Rugrats. <laughs> I wonder how many people had the same thought. Feel free to let me know! Hi, welcome to Tem Village! Hi, I'm Temi! And this is my friend, Temi! Hi, I'm Tammy! And this is my friend, Tammy! Hi, I'm Tammy! Don't forget my friend! Hi, I'm Bob. Bob? Okay! One sane Tammy in the village. Rich history of Tem. Huh. It looks like a poodle with cat ears. Hi, you should check out Tem Shop. Yeah, I agree. Should check Tem Shop. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. human, such a cute. Tem, what egg? Egg, will hatch. Tem, bell parent. It's hard boiled. Tim had human and allergic to Tim. That okay. Tim understand. Tim also allergic to Tim. Um. Well. Hi, <laughs> Feeling of being watched. <laughs> What's this? Statue of Tem. Very famous. Very. Mushroom dance, a mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? <laughs> it symbolizes my inner torment, trapped here by my high pay. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. That is one deep mushroom. <laughs> Anyways, you feel something. You're filled with determination. <laughs> oh my. Okay, now I'm actually gonna use this box fully here. Oh, and the box is full. Okay. Well, this is what I intend to do. Use the dog residue. The rest of your inventory filled up with dog residue. Dog residue. Dog item. Jigsaw puzzle left unfinished by a dog. <laughs> Glowing crystals. Uh, secreted by a dog. Ew. <laughs> Dog-shaped husk shed from a dog's car carapace. Ugh. That was the right. Web spun by dog to ensnare prey. What? Another glowing crystal. And a dog salad? Dog-shaped husk shed by a dog carapace. Okay. Dog salad. Hit poodles? Is that what Temmie is, a poodle? Um, just for curiosity's sake, let's try calling Toriel. Okay. Oh yeah, I haven't talked to Papyrus in a while. Let's see what he has to say about Temmie Village. 
There's no response! Oh my god! <laughs>